Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Welcome to Sharpen. This is week two. I want to talk to you about worrying. Are you a worry person? Are you a person who's always like always uptight, always kind of in the mindset of, oh, God, please help me. The world's falling apart. So what's going on with your life right now? Give me the update on your life. OK, are you broke? Are you your husband's mad with you? Wife's mad with you? What's going on with you? What has got you all upset? And now here's another question. Have you ever been upset before? <laughs> the answer is. I'm waiting. Yes, you've been upset before. And will you ever be upset again? The answer is yes, you will. You can't avoid it. It's part of the journey. It's part of the process. So you are going to have to decide how you're going to live with it. And what are you going to do? Are you going to get in the car and drive yourself into frustration? I always say, right, get in the car, drive your life the way you drive your, your car. Drive your mind the same way. Get in and turn left, turn right, stop, learn to pause. There's, it's incredible. There's a verse in Philippians 4 that says this is good advice. Let me show it to you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything. Pause right there. Do not be anxious about anything. That's pretty broad, isn't it? You might say, wait a minute. You got children? You have to be anxious. They make you nervous. These people are always acting up. I get it, right? And let me tell you, by the way, sidebar, it's not just little children. Ha! That's easy compared to when they get older. Because now they got power, they can make decisions that can destroy their lives. But whatever you're dealing with, be anxious for nothing, he says. Don't worry about anything. That's pretty broad. Watch this, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, mm, 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 every situation, pray about it. Don't worry about it, pray about it. Stop worrying. It's so easy to worry. I know what I'm talking about. Because I've been there. I, I'm tempted to be there every day. What's going to happen with the pandemic? What's going to happen with this problem? What's going to happen with? What's going to happen? Am I going to? It's amazing. I worried when I had money that I, I didn't you know, give enough of it away. I worried when I didn't have money that I shouldn't have gave it all away. I worried, I worried, I worried, I worried too much. Is the sermon going to be good today or bad today? Am I going to get the job done and not get the job done? Am I, do I still have it? Have I lost my ability to communicate? You know? <laughs> You know, oh boy, all those things go on in your life. And here's what he says, be anxious for nothing. But watch this now. He says, in every situation, what you should do is pray about it. Petition God, supplicate, ask God, Father, mention it to God, tell him what you want. Then he says, with thanksgiving, with some praise in there. And he goes on and says this. He says, present your requests to God. Come to him thanking him, presenting it to him, and trusting him. And don't worry. All right. You heard me say it, right? You got it? It's already logged in your mind? So, okay, so what's going to help you not worry? You ready? First of all, go back and think about what he brought you through before. Just think about the times you were already down and he lifted you up. Think about the times you thought you were at the end, but you weren't at the end. Think about the times the doors opened for you that were closed. Think about the time you got a job. Think about the times when you're sitting there. I remember one time I went to get a, a job interview and I prayed. I went in there and I, you know, I, I was determined to get me a job. And so I, I sat in, in this, in this uh, agency and the lady said, we're going to have any jobs, young man. I'm so sorry, but if I had something, you, you're the kind of young man I'd love to hire. I was probably, oh gosh, 19-ish, thereabout. And I remember uh, while I was sitting there, the phone rang. The phone rang. <laughs> she answered and said, just a minute. And she said, would you like to work at a hospital? There's a job opening right at Cedar Sinai Medical Center. And it pays more money than you made before. And I thought, absolutely, ma'am, today, send me. And I went and got the job. It's amazing how worrying didn't change it, being persistent did. Your worry won't change anything. Just be where you're supposed to be. I was supposed to be sitting there trying to get a job. Some of you don't have a job because you're not trying to get one. You got to be in the right seat. So when the phone rang, they can point you to, to the opportunity. So I want to pray for you today. Father, I lift up everyone today who's been worrying. I pray they be free, blessed, and lifted beyond that mindset, and may they trust you to give them what they need. You said you wanted us to be worry-free, to trust you during our time of challenge, and so we do in Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple. Welcome to Sharpen. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it blessed you. I hope you feel sharper today. Don't worry. Trust your God. He's able. I'll see you next time. You stay sharpened. Keep that worry stuff out your life. No good. See you next time. Bye-bye.